You know, over the last few days, I've, I've been listening to a lot of affiliates, those individuals that are participate, participating with on passive, and they're all talking about on passive and they're talking about things they don't know yet. And, and their, their response is, be patient. Mr. Mufaro will come out and tell us when he's ready. Well, today I, I want to go on the other side of that. I don't want to talk about the things I don't know. I want to talk about the things I do know. And I will talk about a couple of things that I don't think anybody else has, has touched on or mentioned. But, you know, it's funny, knowledge is the key to everything. And if you want to be successful, you need to have the knowledge to persevere. Keep that knowledge, keep those facts right in front of you. And if you can do that, you will be at peace. So I'm going to bring a little peace to your life. You know, to start with, when you think about on passive, when you think about Mr. Mufar, when you think about what they're doing, it is Herculean. It really is massive what they're doing. And if you think about uh, uh, Muhammad Nizal, Muhammad Kamal, if you, link, if you think about Dr. Susan, if you think about Ash, if you think about the tech team in Hyderabad and everything that they're doing, I can tell you this is what I know. They have not lost a step. In fact, they're speeding up every day. And everything that they're doing is just compounding, whether you talk about the Burj Khalifa, whether you talk about the metro station, whether you talk about the conference in Egypt and Africa, wherever you're talking about, what OnPassive is doing is compounding. They're building up. And when you think about that, what goes through your mind? This is what I know. OnPassive has never stopped. They are continuing to bring people in and they are bringing them in in mass. People are coming in and they are buying O-Connect. Why is that important to you? Let me give you a little analogy of what I know. When, when, when you think about Marty, Dan, and I, we're always marketing. I know in our little, little business that we have, people are coming in and they are buying. These are new people. These are not old people. These are not, these are not early bird affiliates. They are new people coming in and they are buying. And it's extraordinary what's happening, what I see every single day. And I, I won't go into the numbers because they'd blow you away. But I will compare them to on passive and what on passive is doing, what Mr. Mufara is doing on the marketing side of on passive. When you look at on passive and you look at our little poo poo company, there is no comparison. People are flocking in, buying O-Connect, and they are being put in that holding tank until Mr. Mufar is ready to distribute those to those individuals participating with OnPassive. It is absolutely massive, and that, that really is the important takeaway from this little scenario. OnPassive is continuing to grow. They're continuing to bring people in. People are coming in, they're buying O-Connect, and they're put in a holding tank. Those individuals, each and every one of them will be put in an organization of those, those individuals participating with OnPassive, the affiliates participating with OnPassive. This is, this is massive because we're not talking about a few hundred thousand people or a few, you know, two, three, four hundred thousand people. We're talking about millions of people that they've brought in and they're in a holding tank for you and I. That's a really, really big deal. <clears throat> So when we start to think about that, what, what enters our mind? And I really want to go to a place that no one's gone to yet. When you think of the numbers that are coming in and paying, this is something I know, and now you will. <clears throat> Whatever company you're talking about, whether it's on Passive or another company, they have to cash flow. And if they don't cash flow, they're out of business. I know that on passive is cash flowing. How important is that? It's extremely important. Now, how, how much is on passive cash flowing? What do the numbers look like? <clears throat> I see what's going on within my organization. I see what's going in with those early bird uh, affiliates that are in on passive. I see the number of people that are coming in and buying. I can run the numbers of on passive. And when I start to run the numbers of on passive, not only on the on the early bird side, but on the those individuals coming into on passive, those customers that are buying, and I start to to add up the revenue that's coming into on passive, 
it is extraordinary. And I won't go into numbers here. You can do the numbers yourself. You can work with those numbers, play with them. You have the same figures I have. But I know, and this is really, really important, on passive is cash flowing. Why is that important? It's important to understand the amount of money coming into on passive. It's, it's massive. It's absolutely massive. And we haven't even started yet. Haven't even started yet. It's going to get so big. It's just going to blow your mind. But it's, it's important to understand that that money's there. It's coming in. It's continually coming in. Why? Because this is how we get paid. Everybody that comes into that holding tank will be put underneath those, those affiliates in on passive, the early bird affiliates in on passive. You will make a commission from each one of those, each one from those individuals landing in your organization. It's a really, really big deal. It's, it's, it's even more than that. It's even more than that. But, but I'm going to stay focused. Um, the individuals coming in, we know, we, we know this, we, we know it. the individuals coming in, landing in your, your organization, the first one that lands in your organization, you get 100% commission, unheard of, unheard of in any industry. I don't care what business you're talking about. It's unheard of, 100% commission with that first one. What does that do? It literally gives you a path forward to have a free and clear business. You are no longer out of pocket because that first one was 100% commission. So whatever you paid for O-Connect, you got that back with the first sale, but it's better than that. Every sale that comes in after that, we know this is 25% commission, period. Whatever the number is, 25% commission. It will be different with other products coming in. And Ash told us that there, there will be more products coming this month. And we'll, we'll find out what those commission rates are with those products. But we'll stick with O-Connect today, 25%. 25% with on passive going to work for you, putting people in your organization will set you free, financially set you free. I know this and you should too. A lot of the stuff that I'm talking about, you already know it, but it's important to keep these facts in front of you so that peace is just, it just emanates around you. There's no reason not to have that. So when we think about on passive, when we think about the cash flow, we know that on passive is cash flowing right now and it is, it is spectacular. Let's get to that. We, we, we talked about the commission side a little bit. And in order to, to draw a commission, you have to come in and buy O-Connect. And I want to talk about, I want to talk about O-Connect and the buying of O-Connect because it really illustrates what OnPassive is doing and what's going to be happening very, very quickly. I'll get to both of those things. When we look at O-Connect, um, three weeks ago, had a little snafu, had a little problem. Okay, what does OnPassive do? They see the problem, they come up with a solution, they implement it. And the problem they had was with the merchant accounts not being able to accept credit cards. So people couldn't come in, use a credit, credit card, and buy O-Connect. Now, I can tell you, I did a deep dive on, on the merchant accounts and the credit cards and people being able to use the credit cards. And I talked to some really, really big hitters. I talked to people in the industry how the industry works. And when I was done talking to them, I did not think Mr. Mufara would get this done, period. It is a really, really hard thing to do for a new company to have a merchant account, do the volume that OnPassive is doing, and individuals being able to come in and buy with credit cards. Extremely hard. I did not think OnPassive would get it done. What happened? What happened? Well, OnPassive, again, they see a problem, they find a solution, they implement it. In two weeks, Mr. Mufara had that problem solved and had implemented it. And initially when he came in, the window was very, very small that people could come in and use a credit card. And each day it got a little bigger, a little bigger, a little bigger. Each week got a little bigger, a little bigger, a little bigger. Today, I don't know of anybody that wanted to come in and pay for O-Connect that wasn't able to come in, use their credit card, and it was a done deal. They owned O-Connect. They literally started the engine of OnPassive with their business within OnPassive. It's a done deal. Now, are there some people out there that might still be having a problem? Maybe they're not hitting that window. Yeah, there might be. But for, for the most part, the majority of the people coming in, they're hitting that window, they're buying O-Connect, and they're starting the engine of OnPassive. Now, I have talked to many, many people over the last couple of weeks, and they call me and they just tell me, this is not working for me or I have paid and I'm not seeing O-Connect. A lot of different reasons that they're having problems with it. And, and basically what I do, I say, okay, if you don't have a problem, give me your login information. I'll go back into your, your OES back office and I'll see what the problem is. 
not 99%, but 100% of the time when I go back there, it's human error. They just made a mistake. They just didn't have the knowledge they needed, they do now, to get it done. It, it really was that simple. It was not on passive. It was not Ash Mufar. It was not the tech team. Tech team. It, was, it, was, it was our fault. Those, affili those, aff those um, affiliates in on passive just had a problem. That's all. But it's a very, very simple problem. It was solved and they bought O-Connect. It really was that easy. So the majority of the problems, I believe, 100% in, in, in my experience, it's, it's you and I. So we, all of that will get resolved. People will be able to come in and buy O-Connect. But here's where I'm going with the O-Connect analogy. <clears throat> Today, <laughs> and, and again, every day it's a new, it's a, it's something new with those affiliates in on passive. Today, today, well, I'm not getting paid. I see money in my back office. I see money in the OES back office in my wallet, and I'm not getting paid. I can't draw it out. Uh, okay, I've had people come to me and they say, you know, my and they, and these are people they they haven't lost their enthusiasm of on passive. It's just what's running through their mind. I have no problem with that. I don't have a problem with questions. I have no problem answering those questions. But they come at me and they go, you know, Mike, it's it's the 10th of December. And uh, and th by the way, there's more than one person. <laughs> it's a lot more than one person. They go, you know, I, I just because of Unpassive, because of what I've seen, I just think I think I think December is over. Nothing is going to happen in December. And I, and I look at him and I go, oh, okay, well, what are you thinking? What do you, well, I, I think 2024, I think if we just keep our expectations low and we think about 2024, big things are going to be happening in 20, 2024. And, and I agree with them. I agree with them. Keep your expectation low. That's okay. That's fine. As you keep your expectation low, though, also hope for tomorrow, the 11th, the 12th, the 13th, the 14th. And I looked at him, I said, okay, so today's the 10th of December, right? Right? Is December over? And just a blank stare. It's like, it's like they're not even considering that they have two and a half weeks left of, of, uh, of December for Mr. Mufara to do whatever he's going to do. And I say, listen, December is not over. When you think about Mr. Mufara, when you think about problems, when you think about solutions, when you think about what they've done in the past and what they've done in the last couple of weeks, understand that Mr. Mufara is loaded for bear. He's not loading. He is loaded for bear. And he is going to come out one of these days, and he has an ash bomb coming along with everything else that's going to be coming our way. That's going to blow you away. Today, it's the 14th of December. We still have a couple of weeks left in December. Mr. Mufara is not waiting for anything. The only thing he's waiting for is the perfect timing for him to come out and just amaze you. That's what's happening right now. This is something I know. How do I know that? I know it because I've been in, I've been on passive for five years. Mr. Mufara has been doing this for six years. I've listened to Mr. Mufara over the years. He has never, he has never said something that he hasn't done. He is a man of integrity. He will do what he says he's going to do. So yeah, it's okay. Have the low expectations, but hope for tomorrow. Hope's a really, really good thing. And when you when you have hope in Mr. Mufar, when you have hope in Unpassive, all of a sudden things get real in a, in a very, very quick way. And I believe that's going to happen with the rest of December. Uh, Ash Mufar he hasn't talked to us for a couple of weeks. That's okay because when Ash isn't talking to us, I know that he and his team are running full board. That's a really, really good thing. Again, problem solutions implementation. That's happening. That's doing it right now. <clears throat> December 2024, it's just a great time to be alive. It's a great time to have hope in Unpassive. And Unpassive, Mr. Mufara, he will not disappoint. I guarantee it. It's what I know. <clears throat> so today, what I wanted to do, rather than telling you what I don't know, I wanted to tell you what I do know. And once you understand and have the knowledge, it's there. It's right in front of you. You're at peace. And that's a, that, along with hope, is a really, really good place to be. So that's what I wanted to share with everybody today. Um, yeah, I understand why some of the affiliates are coming out and saying, well, we just don't know, just wait. That is not me. I want you to know what I know, understand it, 
know it, and you're going to find that that not only does that peace come over you, but the next few days, the next few months, they're going to be absolutely awesome because of what Mr. Mufara has done, because of his vision, because of the structure of Unpassive, because of the way it's all unfolding, and it is unfolding perfectly. And from there, guys, have a great week. Uh, I, I, and again, the week's not quite over yet, so it might even get better than this. It's already good. And then in the weeks and the, and the months to come, just get ready. It's just going to blow you away. Take care. And uh, yeah, well, absolutely. See everybody on the inside. Take care. Bye.